Hi, Alex Zaves here and welcome to the Arts and Crafts Show. I am uh, a traveling artist and I consider anybody that travels more than a day to get to a show an artist that travels because you have to take a lot more into consideration about driving time, days on the road, hotels, accommodations, camping is a good way to go if you can do that a lot of shows offer camping so I'm here in Minnesota right now and if you saw my previous video I gave a quick recap of my life from back in the 70s all the way today uh, how I got here today in Minnesota I started out in Hawaii and I went to California Florida Minnesota and this is where I am these days but what do I do since I do about nine or ten shows a year here in the sweet season of Minnesota, which is the middle of May till the middle of September, I need a place to live and a place to work. And as I mentioned before, this is what I do. I go and get a, a house to rent and I talk to the local real estate agent and we find a place together. So here I am. I got here on Sunday afternoon. I ended up having to get a hotel room because I could not pick up my van until Monday, which I did around 11 o'clock. Then I went to the local market for a couple of hundred dollars. I got myself some food supplies and I bought a new phone with a new local phone number. I pay by the month uh, for a plan. Um, uh, so I'm only gonna have the phone for four months, so I pay for four months of a plan. It's not a bad phone, it's a Samsung uh, J7, 7J I think it is, it was $100. But I need that phone for my uh, swiping credit cards. So I picked that up and at uh, Walmart and now I'm going, there's a church across the street here. I'm in a small town right now of 130 people and so I'm going to show you that I am pre-set up my, my house. Now this particular house, $1,000 a month, has a garage. I'll take you inside. And it's pretty spacious and I will use this area as a uh, place to store my work between shows. You know, I'll unload my van, I'll put things here, right here, okay? And then I will do some work on top of this bench top behind me and right here. Right now everything's sloppy and it's messy and uh, I'm sure you can appreciate what it's like to set up a workshop. So I've got my van right here and I'm unloading things. Let's go inside the house. I've almost, I've got about half of it taken away now. Tomorrow I'm taking my van into the town like I said, this town's got 130 people, but I'm taking it to the major town about 10 miles down the road because uh, I want to go ahead and have an oil change. I want to get it all nice and tuned up really sweet. And that way I'm on the road. Get it, I'm going to go ahead and get a new serpentine belt this year because it's been seven years since I had one before. And I had one that I'm almost home, 40 miles from the house, and the serpentine belt blew out. And everything shut down in the van and luckily I had tow insurance that came with it and so here we go so here's the house now this area right here will become a workshop area for me the landlord and I already agreed upon that this is where I'll do some of my work outside I will do my patina work um, and that's where I use a lot of salt water and uh, and it's nice to keep my work outside when I'm doing my patina work because uh, it just helps it become greener faster. Um, okay, so here we are. Like I said, that this is the kitchen. And it's very small. Microwave oven. Never use that. I got my meal ready here. And yesterday on Tuesday... Um, after I, I got here, I uh, did a lot of cooking, did about 25, 30 meals. So that way, when I'm finally getting to my work, I can just go ahead and do some heat and eat. It's a small refrigerator, as you can see. I'm taller than the refrigerator. But, uh, but I kept, it's, got, it's full. 
and just the basics and because once I start working I really power it out I will not let myself work less than 12 hours a day okay I will I try for 15 or more um, and I'm talking about full on and I don't eat more than two meals a day so and I don't really snack rarely um, that's how I keep my boyish figure I suppose anyway okay there's a program on TV here they're showing about how to paint which is pretty cool I get a uh, all right again I just get antenna TV here nothing special I'm only here for four months I'm not watching TV I'll go to the library I usually get books on tape and okay here's my bag that I brought in from California here that's it I mean I have one bag that I came with California because I have everything here in storage all right my van was in storage all my artwork is, that was left over is in storage I knew that I'm going to be very busy in the month of June so I have a lot of work already prepped and ready to go I probably got about twenty thousand dollars in storage and uh, I haven't been to my storage locker there I hope it's still there but I'm sure it is it's never had a problem before this area here I keep as a an area that once I finish making new work I put here and it's ready to go I can keep a nice uh, here's that artwork I showed you the other day from Madagascar okay there we go <clears throat> right let me see anyway you get the idea so that was uh, so this is a little storage area here that I use once I make something I, I store it here well, I this has got an upstairs and two bedrooms upstairs I never go up here there's no reason for me to go up here I can do every all my business I need to do I stay down here so I don't even use that for a storage area the garage outside is enough for me and since I'm working all the time my bed is right out here in the middle of my workshop okay this is my living area right here but I'm telling you that it's a work area that I have not yet finished putting together and you'll see that in the next video after I've got everything together and all this area here also same thing this will all be full of my artwork here once I'm getting going so just to let you know so you do have another bedroom downstairs here and I'll show you what that looks like this is mostly where I will keep clothes things that are, are you know I want to protect computers cameras uh, things that I, I want to make ready for the next show I keep in there keep it that well organized and that's it of course everything every place has got a bathroom very small again not a big deal to look at and that I'm just taking you around the entire house this is a thousand dollars a month to be able to rent this place what's really nice is that I can work right here I can work right here right by the door and I'm only you know three feet I'm inside my house actually so I don't really have to travel to work I've always I've never liked living in a place where I have to go to a workshop so I always organize it I mean I could work out in the garage but I don't really like to go that far because here in Minnesota it gets cold and I like to get started early in the morning around four o'clock uh, but I'm actually at the work table at about five or five thirty so it's cold and um, so here we are right here this is where I'll be doing my patina area is right here a little windy right now because we're expecting some rain coming in so I want to go ahead and get this show you all over, all around this is Minnesota it's uh, May 23rd towards September I'll set up a little booth out there in front of my house try and sell some of my work I did last year and it worked out I made $300 not really worth it but uh, but you know it was an experience you know I was in between weekend shows and uh, I hadn't set up in front of a house in many many years since I lived up in Bodega Bay uh, in California so I'm just going to take you around 
here I have to cut my own grass it takes about an hour and a half every 10 days depending on rain and that's about it now you know what I'm up against here so I'll do another video when uh, when I've got everything pretty well close to set up and I'm gonna go ahead and show some secrets of a copper craft like I said I'm not gonna be doing this except for maybe two or three more years maybe four I'm eligible for Social Security I don't live in the country anymore now I've traveled all around the world several times and I've decided to sell in Madagascar it's a nice easy place to live for me and I'll be doing some uh, video uh, of Madagascar and anybody that's ever been there or interested in going there just go ahead and let me know what you think so there we go thank you very much and I will see you at the next arts and crafts show time to pack it up before it rains